guys, my name is AP, and today we are going to be doing the update loop, which basically limits how many frames per second is our game. So, right now, we just have it to where any frame rate, depending on the computer. So, it could be 3,000 frames, it could be 1 frame, depending on the computer. What I want to do is I want to run it based off the uh, compute uh, time instead of the computer's performance. So the way we do that is we have to find a base time, which is with the system dot nano time, which is basically uh, a really big amount or really small amount. It I don't remember. It's 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 really something time. So and then we go to so let's go to window and let's create a function called get time. Uh, so I'm gonna do it right uh, here. And I'm just going to do public void get time. And it ain't really void. It's going to return a double. And so return system dot nano time divided by 1 billion to get seconds. Is that 1 billion? That's, there we go, 1 billion. But it won't work. This is such a small time or it returns an integer, so it'll just be zero. So what we need to do is we need to cast both of these to doubles so we can actually get how much time there is. So we have the get time, and we need to set up some variables. First, we need to set a FPS uh, in the constructor so we can give how many frames per second. So I'm just going to say int FPS and comma. And I'm going to create some doubles, private, uh, double FPS cap, which is basically what uh, the max FPS should be. And we're going to set this to 1.0 divided by FPS cap equals 1.0 divided by FPS. So now we have a double that has... Uh, how many times a sec, uh, how many, uh, part of a seconds we want, and then it's going to add up till it gets to one, and then it's going to reset, and it's going to keep doing that. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a couple of, uh, variables. So we're going to make a time variable, we're going to make an, a uh, unprocessed, pro unprocessed time variable. And they're both going to be doubles, because double is, uh, one way to get this, is one way to get small decimal numbers. And in the create, we're going to set these. So, time should be equal to get time, and, uh, unprocessed time is just zero. So we're going to set that to zero. Actually, I think we can set it up here, and we can just get rid of that. So time equals get time and uh, we go down to update no we sh we're gonna make a new one we're gonna make a new one so we don't clock anything up so it'd be public uh, boolean is updating and I said boolean because it's gonna return if it should continue on and uh, we're just gonna return false for now but here we go. So, uh, next time, so we're going to say, uh, double next time is equal to, uh, uh, time, uh, get time. And what this does is, since is updating is going to be one frame from this one, it's going to have a one frame advance. So, we're going to say, uh, double past time is equal to next time minus time. So what this does, it gives us how much time has passed over that unit of time. And the next thing we got to do is we have to add past time to process, process time or unprocessed time. Now I'll name it process time because it makes uh, more sense. Process time and it's already going, so past time, or processed 
time plus equals past time. And we're going to set the time is equal to next time. So what this does, it basically creates an infinite loop. Not this one. It basically creates an infinite loop. And this basically tells us what we want. So if processed time is greater than FPS cap, this is what limits the uh, uh, window from going to like 3,000 frames. If it's greater than the FPS cap, we want it to subtract processed time minus FPS minus equals FPS cap. And uh, we want it to return true. So now, with this, we should be able to go... Oh yeah, we have to create a new... I also created some constants uh, before I uh, hit play. It's width and height, because we wouldn't really be changing the width and height of the window. So I'll put it in constants, so we can use it down here, instead of being hard-coded into here. And so we're going to create another one called FPS, and we're going to set that to 60. So 60, and we're going to plug that into our window. And so what we need to do now is we need to do if window dot is updating, which returns true or not, then we need to put, we need to do what we need to do. So now if we run this, we should have the same thing, no errors, we should have the same thing, but it's now uh, not as fast as it's going, because usually it's 3,000 frames, and it's killing the mother, anything, any computer, it can kill it, because it's running so fast. And so, just to see if it works, we're going to set this to 1, and we're just see it so we know it works because it took one frame to load it and then we have it we can also test it so if we click it takes one frame to detect that there's a click and if we release it takes one frame to detect that you released it's just as a one frame one frame so that's all good and well but that's slow and no one wants that so we're just going to change that back to 60 and uh, we're going to go to the window, and we're going to just finalize this. So, since all these variables are private, you really wouldn't get them. So, we don't need these, we don't need these, but we do need these five. So, let's go to dip back down here, and let's create some getters. We don't, because we don't need to set them. Uh, so, where's the source? Generate getters and setters. Uh, generate getters. Uh, we don't need keys, mouse button, process time, and we just need these five. So after is updating and okay. Get rid of this extra white space and here we go. So now we can use get width, get height, get title, get FPS, which I'm just gonna multiply that by uh, I mean, let me try something else. So instead of setting it to this automatically, I think we can just set it to that. And then so it will return to FPS, but down here, we just need to divide this. We need to do 1.0 divided by FPS cap. And then 1.0 divided by FPS cap. So... Now down here, we just get rid of that, and it returns how many frames a second you've decided to set it, which I really don't think you need, but just in case you need another class, you can just do that. So, now if we run it, everything should be the same, but it's a lot optimized for uh, rendering stuff. So in the next episode, what we need to do is we need to, uh, well, create something that render stuff on the screen. So, uh, let's do that.
next episode. Not now, but I'll see you guys later. Bye.